wild truth. The very first air conditioner was made to preserve paper. Ah, the air conditioner. Humanity's greatest gift to itself after pizza and wireless headphones. But believe it or not, the very thing that keeps your house cool didn't start as a comfort device at all. It was built to protect paper. Buckle up, we're about to chill out with the weird history of AC. The humid office nightmare. Back in 1902, a guy named Willis Carrier, yes, Carrier, like the brand of your grandmother's AC unit, worked at a printing company in Brooklyn, where summer humidity was turning paper into wavy lasagna sheets and ink melted into soup. He's like, you know what, forget the human comfort. I just want the paper to stop crying. So he invents a machine that cools the air and removes moisture, saving the printing business and accidentally inventing the air conditioner. And when rich people overheard of this, they said, wait a second, this paper saving machine feels amazing. Suddenly theaters and department stores started installing AC. Going to the movies became a way to escape the heat. By the 1950s, AC was a staple in every office building because it turns out employees don't rage quit as fast when they're not sweating through their suits. Can you imagine working in the 1950s with no air conditioning in an office? Productivity went up. Morale improved and coffee no longer evaporated mid-pour. In the 1970s, AC made its way into people's homes. Folks used to sit on their porches with fans and lemonade. Now, they sealed their homes up like Tupperware containers, which really speaks to the change in society even more. Just think about it. With how closed off people have become, it makes sense that with inventions like this, a more closed off society developed. If we at one point kept our doors open and hung out on our porch just to cool off, that's vastly different from locking up inside and cooling off all on your own. Over time, we may have overdone it. Today, AC is in cars, malls, planes, and even igloos. But there is a downside. Over 10% of the global electricity is used just to keep us cool. We've basically reverse engineered summer, and it's not exactly great for the environment. So now, next time you're chilling under your air vent, thank a sweaty printing press from 1902, and a man who just wanted his ink to stay put. Like and subscribe for more cool stories.